So we're on the next train, uh, which is going to take us to a station where we're going to stay the night, and then we're going to Barcelona tomorrow in the morning. Um, but all the way here, people have been saying that we need to wear masks on trains, but they say it's fine. We say we're English, we didn't know, they say, okay, fine. This guy on this train, he finds us, he says, you need your mask. We say, oh, we didn't know, we didn't know. He said, get off. We said, no, 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 we can't get off, we can't get off. He's, he's forcing us to get off. He's not moving the train until we get off the train because we don't have masks. Yes. Um, so then he says, you see, he starts calling the police. There he is. Asshole. And we're like, so we're going to be homeless in the city if we get off this train. We have no other way of getting around. We don't have anywhere to stay. And he was like, that's not my problem. Nearly, he nearly kicked us off like and made us so, right behind me. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, um, the lady in the next carriage, I said off the off chance, do you have any spare masks? Yeah, she has two. So here we are looking in our masks again. But, jeez, we nearly got kicked off. That was fucking stupid. We turn the lights out. Hey. It's crazy how different it looks to France. Oh, look at that palace thing. on this train into the middle of nowhere. Oh, there is one other person. Hello. Hello, what are you doing on our train? Whatever lies beyond this door is where we will be sleeping tonight. I can't see beyond my nose. One small step for man. It's a nice evening. It smells like egg. It smells like Something good, man. <laughs> it smells like waffle. We're gonna see the, what the comfiest spot in this town is, and we're gonna sleep here because we're broke. Let's go. It's, it's another very different town to all the other towns we've been to, and very pretty. Some of these buildings look dead abandoned, and again, very quiet as all these places are at night. We found a lovely spot further into the wilderness but we started thinking we can hear a lot of insects we don't know what kind of wildlife lies in these parts and also we wanted to charge our phones because our phones are dead slash almost dead um, so we came back to the station to charge our phones there aren't any plug sockets so that answers that question we're gonna have to stay here in the station so that we can hop on the train in the morning. Oh, off goes the light. But anyway, we're gonna have we're gonna have dinner now, which is the cereal that we took from breakfast back in Ondai in France. It's the only food we have left, so we're gonna make it count. And off goes the light again. We managed to score some water off uh, the bar that's closed just next door, so we're doing good. We are living life on a certain kind of edge at the moment. Nom nom. Tonight we are sleeping under the stars, right by the train station. Our train that leaves tomorrow is that one there. Good night, sir. Good night. We are on the train. It's about five o'clock in the morning, I think. And we've come onto the train that's going to take us to Barcelona. How did you sleep, senor? Sleeps. Yeah. I'm gonna keep sleeping. Yeah, same. For the next few hours. We have made it to Barcelona, and our mission now is to find somewhere to charge our phones. There were very few spots in the train station that you could charge your phones at, and none of them are working. Very unusual problem set before us, but before we can enjoy the fruits of this city, we gotta charge our phones. This is Barcelona.
Everybody told him that he had the greatest soul. Oh, that's it. Oh, hold on. Hold on, Senor. It's been a very fleeting visit in Barcelona. Sorry we haven't shown you much. We haven't really seen much ourselves, to be honest. Um, we did busk in two locations. We made one friend who um, offered that we like, have a drink with him, but we just don't have time. Because we really want to get to Bulgaria by the 16th. And it's looking like it's going to be quite a mission. We're really hoping we can. I don't know how well you're going to be able to hear me. This is really loud in here. Found our train, it's gonna take us to Port Boot, and then we're gonna to go to another place in France, stay the night there, then we're gonna to go to a place in Italy, stay the night there, and then we're going to Rome. That's the journey for the next three days. That's the plan. Yeah, Ben's gonna be a bit delirious. <laughs> Let's go, baby! We're at a place called Port Bow. And there's a really weird animal noise coming from up here. Oh, of course it stops when I start filming. Do you hear it? Oh shit, it's that. Why are they playing this? And they're giving it atmosphere. Oh, it's awful. It's a really beautiful place though. As is always the case. You're never gonna be able to tell on here. Every town we end up in, especially these little ones, um, on our way to places, are so different from each other to the point where how can you really claim that any of them we're in the same country. It's a very diverse place thing. Here comes our beer. I guess we made enough today in Barcelona to pay for this. Them. Really? So we've been kicked out of the, of the. We were trying to sleep in the train station, but we've been kicked out. There is a place just there that we've been directed to, but it, it costs money, and we're trying to we're trying to sleep for free tonight, so that we can have a nice place to stay in Rome. We've already been kicked out twice. Still, <laughs> still. <laughs> and he's there. He is, and he he he's told us we've got ten minutes now. But he he kicked us out earlier. And we like did a lap of the block and came back in. <laughs> they let us stay for a bit and longer. They kicked us out again, but we just didn't leave. We just sat here instead, like stared him in the eyes and we just like, but it's cause twenty four seven four. We don't have anywhere to. Sleep. And he was like, um, he's a very strange man. But I feel like you have to be a bit of a strange man to have his job. He brought his dog. He brought his dog. He's gonna come and eat us. <laughs> the man with the dog won. But it's okay, we got five hours. Four. Right, five until our train. Right. We're hoping the train station is going to open at five o'clock in the morning so we'll be able to get back in there, but otherwise we're on the streets for four hours. Everywhere we went, we said we've got nowhere to stay. Kind of just like laughed at us and was like, okay, go sleep in the bus stop. Yeah, we asked. Uh just a few hotel receptions, we can just like sit in their reception for a few hours. But there was like, no. It's like, it's okay because it's not, we're not in a life or death situation. But it's just weird the coldness that we were met with, with everybody. It's not too bad though, really. We just gotta stay up until our train comes, until the train station opens again. Oh, I'm looking rough. Matthew Noble 